what speed to the city street. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jamie, if you are new here, and today's video is part of the Sunday Reset collaboration hosted by my friend Clarissa over at Sunny in the Suburbs. Um, this is an open collaboration to all YouTubers. Uh, this is the third Sunday of every month at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, and if you wish to join, just go ahead and message Clarissa, and she will include you in this uh, collaboration. So anyway, what I'm doing here in the crock pot is I'm making a tortilla soup. This can be done on the stove top, but just let's make life a little bit easier and get it in the crock pot. So I've got two big honking chicken breasts that I threw in there, and I'm just going to cut up one small um, onion. Believe it or not, I did not use my vegetable chopper. <laughs> um, so I'm just getting that all diced up. And and honestly, I don't even know if you can actually call this a Sunday reset, but the, I'm just getting some things done that needed to get done anyway. And one of the things is getting dinner in the crock pot. So you add your onion in there and I've got a 32 ounce a, a carton of chicken broth and honestly you could probably just use two of them because this really could have used extra broth I don't think that I had enough but um, you want to use four cloves of garlic I really should have just dumped the rest of that garlic minced garlic in there I, I'm down to the very bottom there um, so it was a half a teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of chili pepper chili powder sorry <laughs> um and if you're not sensitive you could really just do two to three tablespoons of the chili powder um but anyway so what i'm doing here is chopping up the chipotle peppers and adobo sauce and i'm pretty certain that the grocery store carries cans of this like with the peppers already chopped I, this just happens to be what i had on hand so i'm just using that setting my crock pot for five hours because i think it was about like one o'clock by the time i was getting all of this done and i did set it too low so i'm now adding in some black beans and some southwest corn the day before i had done some meal prep uh, making like a southwest rice where i used both of those ingredients and i didn't use all of it so i figured that was just you know I knew I was going to be making this, and so it was just, it all worked out. It's all good. So just getting some cleaning done in the kitchen and got to keep that hydration going. I'm in that next level shred, and I'm supposed to have like 93 ounces of water a day. And y'all, I'm not doing a very good job. Um, I'm not doing a good job at all, but I am trying my hardest to get that water in. And it, what I found actually works for me is getting those, um, water bottles and every time I drink a full one of those I take like a sharpie marker and I put like a um not a hashtag what am I trying to think like a um just like a little a marking see that's what I'm showing you I put my marks on there to know where I am <laughs> how many because I'll lose count I will so I've got three and I'm working on my fourth one and did you see those flowers that were on the um that countertop so Megan just had her prom her senior prom and her date had gotten her those flowers oh so sweet and what I'm doing here is texting TJ because he keeps blowing up my phone and I failed to tell him that I was actually filming so it's not his fault it's mine I just I didn't bother telling him I'm hey I'm filming <laughs> so I was texting him back but anyway just getting some dishes taken care of because you know that's just what we do just dishes it's like dishes and laundry are like never ending so and then what about the spoons y'all I swear I feel like spoons just disappear so fast like I need to buy like a separate thing of spoons because the spoons are always gone um, but did you see that uh, that mug that I had there it was my strawberry mug if you saw my grocery haul uh, you'll see you'll have seen that I had gotten that uh, the strawberry mug and the plates and everything I've been using it I love that mug it is so cute uh, there was another mug that they had over at the store that had like more strawberries on it and I really should have gotten that since it, it like you know it would have been like a set because it still had like the red polka dots on this inside of it but I just figured well I'm the only one that's going to be using this so I'm not going to waste the money I'm just going to just get the one and just be happy with that <laughs> But anyway, back what I was saying about Megan's uh, senior prom, she actually won uh, prom queen. And that was just like so amazing. We were just so excited for her. And she, her and her day ended up having a really good time. She got to go with her friends. We got pictures and she looked absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why she doesn't keep the flowers in her room. But anyway, they're looking beautiful and it's like already been a week and 
pretty soon she's going to be graduating before we know it. And, and I'm going to be sad because then she's going to be going off to college. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Okay. So in case you were wondering about that tortilla soup, it does serve six people. Well, that's what it says. Anyway, it serves six people. It's 352 calories. Um, was it 29 grams of protein in case you're counting that it's only, it's got 42 grams of carbs. And uh, this is like a really good soup. I've been making it for years. I really like this one. So I will definitely link that uh, recipe down below if I can find it. I found it in a magazine. So I will do my best to try and find it. If not, I'll just put all the ingredients in the description box. So anyway, moving on to the bedroom. Look at here. Looky, looky. I got a brand new bedroom set. I love it so much. TJ got me a brand new bedroom set for Christmas. I love it so much. It's so crazy because that last bed that if, if you've been following me, that last bed we had for like, oh my God, what was it? 16, 17 years. I can't even remember. So long. And I was just ready for a change. But one of the reasons why I wanted to include this in the video is because I had been watching some other people's videos and they have been talking about how they're not doing like, I guess they're not doing a very good job with making sure that they wash their bedding. Uh, more frequently and um, you know just the buildup of you know like the dead skin and God knows whatever else gets accumulated onto those sheets I like to try and do it once a week but let's just be real it's gonna be more like every two to three weeks so I mean anyway so here is your reminder go get your bedding in the washer <laughs> yes those are those are garden shears I, <laughs> they happen to be right there. I needed scissors. They work like scissors, but you're supposed to use them like in your garden or something. I don't even know. I have no idea. But anyway, whatever. Just getting all the bedding in the washer and we got to do the towels. Um, also, I don't know if you saw me showing you that liquid, what was it? Lysol sanitizer stuff. I finally bit the bullet and decided to get a small bottle because I wanted to try it because I've been seeing so many people like raving about it. So I'm like, okay, well, what is the big deal? Well, number one, some of the people that I have been watching have been putting it in the wrong compartment of their washing machine. If you look on the bottle, it says to put it where your fabric softener goes. Because essentially that's what it is. It's a fabric softener. It is not a bleach. It has no bleach in it. So I keep seeing other people's videos of them putting it where the bleach goes. And I'm like, have they not read the bottle? What are y'all doing? I mean, I'm su I mean, maybe it still works the same. I don't know. But you're supposed to put it where your fabric softener goes. Anyway, let's just put it this way. I really like it. And even Charlotte, she went to do the laundry for me one time. She was getting stuff out of the washing machine. And she even said... She's like, wow, these are so soft. So I've noticed a difference. And then I was like, well, is it just me in my head? But even she noticed it. So anyway, I like it. I'll probably continue to get it. Um, and then here I am doing the clothes that have been sitting in the dryer for a few days now. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? You know, you just keep hitting, hitting like the refresh button. Not a refresh button, but like the, like the freshen up. You know, just like spin it again. Oh, okay. Oh, it's been another day. Oh, okay. We'll just spin it again. Get it nice and hot. Get the wrinkles out and then I'll get to it. And then you don't get to it for like two, three days. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Whatever. I finally got it done. Getting the big, um, my big blanket in there that has to get washed separately. It's such a pain in the butt, but anyway, I got brand new clean sheets on here. And oh, I wanted to show you this in case y'all like were like, how in the world do you fold a fitted sheet? It's so easy. I only know how to do this because I worked at a motel before and this is how we had to fold the sheets. And um, you just, I guess I have to like slow this down even more to explain it. But um, if you're interested in me showing you exactly how to fold a fitted sheet properly, comment down below because I'll be happy to share. It's so easy. It's ridiculous. Um, but anyway, so yeah, just getting all the pillowcases put back on here. And um, yeah, it was just, it's so nice to have nice, clean, soft bedding back on the bed. I love my new bedroom set. It is so nice. You like the lamps? Did you see the grocery haul where I bought those lamps? I got them over at Hobby Lobby. I really like those a lot.
So anyway, here it is. It's the next day. It is actually Saturday morning and I, d I did a terrible job of setting the camera up so that you could see what I was doing, but cleaning the bathroom. Um, I kind of fell into this routine where um, on Saturdays I clean the bathroom and then I vacuum my bedroom floor. And um, I used to do it on Sundays, but then, you know, Sunday is kind of like, I, you know, I'm getting ready for church and Sunday school and all that stuff. And so it just worked out easier just to do it on Saturdays. I mean, I don't, don't know why I'm explaining my routine to you, but anyway, so here I am just, yeah, cleaning the, uh, the bathroom. And do you see that index card that is taped up to the mirror there? It's actually a Bible verse. I came across this Bible verse. It's Romans 12, 11, and it says, work hard and don't be lazy. Serve the Lord with a heart full of devotion. And I taped that up there for, well, a couple of reasons, really. One, because I thought it would be a good idea just to try and re memorize uh, scripture. And the other part was because the first part of that says, work hard and don't be lazy. Honestly, you can apply that to to like everything in life. And for me, what I'm trying to do in this whole like next level shred with Nicole Burgess and everything and just, you know, just trying to do better than I did before. And just, you know, on those days where I just, you know, I don't want to exercise because let me go ahead and be honest, I don't like exercising, not a fan, but, um, whether it be exercising or cleaning or just, you know, things that you have to do in life, work hard and don't be lazy. I mean, there's going to be times where, you know, you're just not going to want to do it. And there'll be times where you can just go ahead and sit and rest. It's probably why I think that's why God made Sundays. But the rest of the time, we're supposed to just, you know, just get the job done and just get it done and over with. And then you'll actually feel better about it. You know, something my dad always used to tell me, he says, the more you do now, the less you have to do later. And I try to apply that to so many things. But so something interesting that I had found out is that the batteries for my camera keep dying. And um, I've had this camera for, what, like three years now. And I have two batteries. So when one dies, I just put that in the charger and then I use the other one. Except for nowadays that the lifespan of these batteries are just getting shorter and shorter. And I just put a brand new battery and the camera keeps dying. So I just looked it up. The lifespan of rechargeable batteries is a you could expect two to seven years for most rechargeable batteries. Rechargeable cordless phone batteries can last one to two years with the right use and care. Um, yeah, so my camera I've had for like a, you know, like I said, about three years and it's time for me to get a new one. My camera kept cutting out on me. So I'm just going to have to end this here, y'all. I want to thank you so much for spending these 13 minutes with me and don't forget to click on the link to check out everybody else's channel don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already like comment say hi in the comments i like to chat with y'all in the comments section it really does help my channel grow and i will see y'all next time i hope y'all have a great weekend and we'll see y'all next time bye we want to chase the next